Hello everybody, good afternoon, welcome. Here we are in the studio. Um, it's pretty chilly right now here in the northeast and uh, I'm having to dress up. <laughs> um, what I was just going to do is I, I was just actually, I've got a couple of things I just wanted to show you. One is one of these, this is the the one you saw me make yesterday actually on that clip that I did. This is the one that's going to go in the corner and as I said once you have you saw me deform it on the on the wheel by putting my hand in like that and just approximately getting the shape of it you then when it's cheese hard state and before you put your handles on you just want to um, paddle it. I was talking to my brother John about this and he said, oh he says you've done it wrong. <laughs> I can, one thing about being being in this, uh, being growing up in this family of potters is I can always rely on some member of the family who's more experienced than me <laughs> to put me in my place. <laughs> So, anyway, he do, he means well. Anyway, the thing was, he did say, and he's quite right. If you can imagine this here, this this uh, this paddle thing I've got here, is the wall, and then the vase is coming up to the wall like that. You don't want the belly here to be sticking out at all. It doesn't want to be sticking out. In fact, that that of course is the reason why we do paddle it to push and flatten the side uh, this particular example of course is one that's going into the corner but uh, it doesn't matter I'm using this as an example it, it, it could be one of the ones that was just with a single loop handle on that was going flat against the wall it is important that you don't have this belly protruding out beyond the hook it wants to be so that it can get nice and it can hang nicely on the wall and not sort of be all cocked up like this because it's got a bit outside there. Anyway, just thought I'd mention it. <laughs> so I'm taking extra special care <laughs> to give these a good paddling. All right, John. So. Now that's basically basically finished. Uh, what I just need to do is put a little seal on it. So let's put that one now to one side. That's one thing I just wanted to do. Now the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to get these bats and fling them far away. <laughs> Anybody want to play frisbee? I got a better idea actually. Come with me down on the table. I'm going to sort these bats out once and for all. And I suggest you all do the same. There we are. So, what are we going to do with them? <laughs> Let's have a look. Now these bats, as you notice, have got four, four location possibles. In actual fact, for me personally, on my wheels, if you feel along the side here, they've got some little protrusions, little nodules that stick out. And where they've got three and three, that means those are the ones here and here that that are used. These other ones are not used. So those other ones that are not used I'm not going to bother to drill out. There's no point. Okay, I've already done that one. Let's do another one. Now that drill size, because I know someone's going to ask me, 
Uh, Simon, what size is that drill? I haven't a clue, to be honest. It's the biggest one. <laughs> it's the biggest one I could find in the in the set. It doesn't matter the size of it, actually, because it's only really a visual thing. If you can imagine, you know, if you can imagine the... Let's imagine this little thing here is a this bit of plastic I've just drilled out. Is the nail? You see, I can I can locate it then. You see, because because I can see through the hole when I'm dropping it down. All right. So I was going to quickly just dr drill these out, and having a hole there, I know someone's going to ask this as well. Oh, having a hole there now it's going to catch in your hand, or it's going to catch in the clay. No, 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 no. Forget it. You won't even notice it, I promise you. All of my bats that I used to have in Spain, which were wooden, just had holes drilled right the way through. They were dead easy to put on and they were never a problem. I promise you they won't be a problem. Okay, so next one. I bet now we're going to see, because I expect Shimpo's got their spies out there somewhere. They're going to be making these now with a hole right through, you see. It's dead easy to drill as well. Just do it just slightly off the side of the table, you know. Dee, 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 dee. That's the one. They're quite clever these actually, though. They've got one which is like a round hole, and then the other one on the other side that corresponds to that, that one is slightly elongated. Very, very slightly elongated. So it just gives you a little bit of a little bit of sideways play when you're putting it on. So I will give them credit for that. One thing to do in a minute. Okay, so you've drilled them all. Now what you've got to do is you've got to deburr them. So get yourself a little countersinking tool, and we're just going to. So they're dead smooth because we don't want any any roughness, do we? It's it's silly, silly little things like this which you suffer and go on suffering for weeks, months, maybe even years, and every time you use them, you curse them because you think, ah, you know. And yet you see how how quickly I've done. Here, I've just done half a dozen bats here. Didn't take me a moment, did it? Did it? And this five, ten minutes invested now will save many tens of or twenties or hundreds of dollars in the long run in saved time. I'm going to you know what I'm going to do now? After I say goodbye to you guys. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the washroom over there and I'm going to wash these off under the tap just in case a little bit of plastic somewhere has got caught up, stuck to these somewhere, okay? So there won't any plastic in my clay. Right. So Keep practicing. See you soon. Dee, 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 dee.